Hello everybody, Michael here and today I'm going to install Python on my Windows computer and I'm going to add it to my path to be able to start it up in a couple of terminals. I'm going to go with the CMD terminal and I'm going to use the git bash terminal today. So if you follow me, I'm down here somewhere at the Python uh, um, web page and I found my download somewhere here. I'm on Windows. I wanted to have the latest release. So I was here, I read it through and somewhere at the end I eventually found the Windows installer on 64-bit which is the way I'm gonna go and it seems to be recommended also for me so hmm, good. So I have already downloaded the installation program here so let's just start it up and see what we have here. Uh, one important part, part, please check the add python to path because that is the way so we can execute the Python executable or the interactive uh, in any directory in more, most terminals here on Windows. So we're going to do that. Uh, we could just have a quick check on the optional features here. I think I'm going to... it's fine. I can live with all that. So I'm going to go back and just run the default installation program that gives me everything. So this is fine. I'm happy with that and let's just wait until the uh, installation program is done. And there we go. Thank you. We can just close it up and now we should be able to hopefully get going with the command prompt. So I'm going to open the command prompt terminal here. I'm going to open it up. And hopefully I could just write Python to see what uh, will happen. Hey, excellent. So I got a Python there, 3.10.2. Seems to be the same version that I installed there. And it seems to be working fine in interactive mode. So let's see if I could just say something here to see that it... Yes, it works. Okay, great. So it seems like the installation went well and Python was added to path. Good. But I want to be able to work mainly in a terminal that is called git bash. So I'm going to open up that and see if that works in as flawlessly here. So I'm going to open it up like that. So this is the bash terminal. I get that I get this when I install the git uh, software utility for my computer and then I want to work with git repositories and then I usually want to work in the, in the bash unix environment so that's why I have this and I want python to work here also and it usually does so let's see if we can start it up here huh? Uh, I just want to add the minus i there for the interactive mode to be sure that it works and here we see that we have the same version there as we have there. So it seems it seems to be working. Uh, good work. Perhaps? No. Oops. So let's see. Print. Good. Good. Something like that. Yes. Okay. So yes, it worked. Uh, I think I'm going to be happy with that because now I know I can execute Python here on my uh, on my bash terminal. I'm not. I probably will not do too much sort of um, Python.i here. Uh, I think I'm more going to go with Python. Like. Uh, program.py and that is the way I'm going to do it but it's always no nice to know that the interactive mode is all also working here so I think I'm going to be fine with that and the thing that I'm I'm writing minus i here is that if I would do it like that it would just sort of hang and it's known bug within this uh, terminal and windows python installation so I'm gonna go, I think I'm done here. Python is installed. I can run it locally on my terminals. Yeah, I'm happy for that. 
So uh, let's see you some other time. I'm gonna go and take some break now. So bye bye.